What's up, guys? It's Lewis from And Now Just Listen, and we're back with another week and another crop of news that you may have heard already, but we got for you from last week in the news you knew already for the week of March 14, 2016. Let's kick it off. All right, rumors of its appearance were not greatly exaggerated. The folks over at Blizzard have announced a new expansion for Hearthstone. It's going to be another crop of brand new cards. It seems that this is going to be a Cthulhu-inspired, Lovecraftian-inspired crop of cards. There are going to be 134 new cards. It's quite a lot. Some new legendaries, some new mechanics, I'm sure. Nick is more the expert on Hearthstone, so we'll get him on the podcast to kind of give us a lowdown on the nitty-gritty of this, but the gist is, a lot of new cards are coming out. There won't be any single-player stuff attached to this one. If you'd like to pre-order, you can drop 50 bucks for 50 card packs right now, and then you'll have lots of new cards when it's out. So, yeah. New Hearthstone cards coming. We knew... We had a good idea that this was coming, but, uh, now it's confirmed. So, get ready for some Hearthstone action. There's a link in the description to the official Blizzard announcement. And like I said, we'll have more details about Hearthstone from the expert himself, Nick, on our podcast. All right, something that I can speak to a little bit better myself. There was a Street Fighter update update this week. So the March update content was revealed with no release date yet. First things first, we got to look at Alex. He looks pretty cool. He's got um, a grappling style, I guess. Justin says not very grapply. We'll have to wait and see how he plays once he's out all the way. But the moveset and specials are all listed on the blog post, which you can ca- also can catch in the description below. In addition, they announced the features that will be added to the game aside from the new character, which includes the challenge mode, which will help new players learn how to play this game. So that's something that has been highly criticized for not being in the game at launch and that the game is not very friendly for new players. So hopefully that will help out quite a bit. In addition, let's look through these notes. The in-game shop will become available so you can spend your hard-earned fight money on Alex, as well as the story costumes and more stuff I'm sure will be added as time goes on to the, st- to the store. And finally, the battle lounge improvements will be made available as well as online rematches. So if you want to rematch somebody, you can say so. And if they agree, then you can rematch them online. And battle lounges will now hold up to eight players and you can spectate. So that's really exciting news. Street Fighter's going to get a little more fleshed out and become a much better and more recommendable product once the March update hits. Still no word on when, but I'm waiting with bated breath, and I'm very excited to see the new stuff. Last but not least, the folks over at Psyonix this week teased, along with the upcoming March Madness, a new Rocket League basketball mode, which is apparently in the works. So if you're a big fan of Rocket League soccer, Get ready for basketball. It seems like this is going to be an update and not a whole separate product. So if you're playing Rocket League already, you should expect to be able to play soccer or basketball. And I think this is really awesome. It sounds insane and great. And everything about Rocket League is just the best. So if you're a big Rocket League player, you have more to look forward to. And the support that they've given this game post-launch has been amazing. And big ups to the folks over at Psyonix. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing awesome. And go play some soccer and get ready for some basketball. Now we're going to kick it over to a, a little bit shorter list of releases this week, but a few notables in there. So let's go. All righty. Our list of releases for this week includes EA Sports UFC 2 on Xbox One and PS4, which will be coming out on March 15th. Marvel Battlegrounds is coming to the Xbox One, 360, PS4, PS3, Wii U, and PC on March 15th. Need for Speed is finally hitting the PC also on March 15th. 
Salt and Sanctuary is coming to PS4, Vita, and PC, also on March 15th. Samurai Warriors 4 Empires is coming to PS4, PS3, Vita, March 15th. Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo, it's a mouthful to say, is coming to Xbox One, PS4, and PC on March 15th. S okay, Senran Kagura Estival Versus is coming to PS4 and Vita March 15th. Tetrabot Co. is coming to the Xbox One and the PS4 on March 15th. World's Fastest Pizza, it sounds delicious and fast, is coming to PC on March 15th. Dungeon of the Endless is coming to the Xbox One on March 16th. Pocket Tournament, which is the Pokemon fighting game, coming to Wii U on March 18th. And Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is coming to Xbox One on March 18th. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning into the video this week. If you liked it, give it a like, give us a sub, and you can catch more on our YouTube channel at ANJL Videos. If you enjoyed this video and would like to explore some of our other content, we have a podcast that goes up on Thursdays at Spreaker, iTunes, and Stitcher. It's called In Now Just Listen. Search it up and you should see it right away. In addition, we also have a WordPress where we aggregate all our videos and podcasts as well as some written stuff amongst other things. That's over at andnowjustlisten.wordpress.com. If you want to get in touch with us, andnowjustlisten at gmail.com or ANJL tweets are the places to do it on email and the Twitter. This week on the site, we've got a look at the Dark Zone coming up as well as some modified video content as well as a little vlog update from me letting you guys know why things have been a little weird the last couple weeks. Uh, I feel like I've been very MIA and the stuff has just been coming out with little to no fanfare or promotion on any of our social media. So I'm going to let you guys know what's been going on with me and uh, why, as the editor of videos and everything, stuff has been a little bit more... I don't know. It's, it's just been a strange couple weeks. And so um, oh, let, let everybody know what's going on and... Appreciate your support. Thanks so much for sticking with us. And we hope to see you back next week on our podcast. Hit us up on Twitter. And I'll see you guys next week for more news. Bye.